healing, damage and immortality. Overwatch's latest hero Batiste does it all. So let's take a look at his lore, his abilities and how to get started with Overwatch's newest character. Batiste's story begins when he was a young boy during the Omnic Crisis, where he, along with millions of other children, were orphaned by the conflict. With only limited opportunities and resources available, he enlisted in the military, specifically the Caribbean Coalition, a pan-island force formed in response to the war. Batiste was fueled by an innate desire to help people, and so specialised in becoming a combat medic for an elite branch of the organisation. Eventually the war ended and his service was complete, but now his unique skill set was much less useful. However, one opportunity did present itself when Talon offered him a position in their organisation. For the first time ever, Batiste got a taste of the good life. Talon's missions were much easier than fighting a war, and the pay was also much better. He was even able to fund a clinic in his hometown. However, his team's orders slowly escalated in brutality, expanding into assassinations and operations with civilian casualties. Batiste soon realised that he was part of a cycle of violence, just like the one that had killed his parents and destroyed his community all those years ago. He was disgusted with what he had become, and so he abandoned Talon and set out to forge a new path. However, leaving Talon isn't that easy. Batiste knew too much, so the council dispatched operatives to silence him. Agent after agent came after him, but the few that found him were never heard from again. Today, Batiste travels the world, healing where he can and fighting where he must. He knows that he can't undo his past, but the making a difference now is what really matters. Batiste is a support character who brings a lot to the table. His primary fire is a three round burst. It's most effective at medium range and rewards accuracy and recoil control. His secondary fire is a projectile, which heals any allies near its point of impact. However, it can't be used to heal himself. Regenerative Burst, however, will heal him, along with any other nearby allies. Also worth noting that this is a buff that will remain on allies even if they move away from you. It's not an aura that they need to stay inside of. His next ability is Immortality Field. This creates a wide circular zone inside which all allies are immune from dying. Their health will be locked at a minimum amount, and so long as they remain in the field, it can't drop below that. Then his passive ability is Exo Boots. By crouching for a short while, he can charge up the boots to give him a much greater vertical jump. Finally, his ultimate is Amplification Matrix. This creates a zone that will double all the damage or healing effects of friendly projectiles that go through it. Overall, these abilities come together to make Batiste more than just a healer. The Immortality Field is one of the strongest ultimates in the game, able to counter ultimates on a similar level to Diva's Defense Matrix. However, keep in mind, the device itself can be destroyed, shutting the field down early. His primary fire does reasonable damage, provided that you can control the recoil to maximize accuracy. His healing is also very reliant on your aim. The projectiles have an arc to them, and they're not that fast, meaning you will need to account for that when trying to heal over longer distances or onto moving targets. The Exo Boots are useful for reaching the high ground and getting into a hard to reach spot, however they have very limited use in combat and don't provide much of an escape option. Finally the ultimate, this can either be used defensively to boost healing by placing it behind your team, or offensively by placing it in front of them to boost their damage. Batiste works best with heroes who he can stick fairly close to. He needs teammates to protect him if he gets flanked, and he needs a team who are in range of his healing projectiles and immortality field. This makes characters like McCree, Reinhardt and Orissa a good fit, anyone who's going to be staying nearby and can provide a reliable defence. He's less effective at working with heroes like Farah, who will be up in the air where he can't heal them. His damage drop off, recoil and projectile healing also mean that he'll be less effective in long ranged encounters. However, he will shine on maps with medium ranged and close quarters fighting, such as King's Row. On maps like this, his healing, immortality field and ultimate will be very effective. Batiste is a great new addition to the game, who brings a lot of new mechanics and opens the door for some new tactics. However, this is only the basics on how to get started with this hero, so please leave your own tips in the comments below. You never know, a future teammate might be watching this video right now. As always, this is James Fakas, saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.